In a world full of photo capturing devices, many entities still remain elusive. Some of these mysterious beings have gained cult-like followings, with believers and witnesses around the world. Let's examine some of the world's most notorious creatures that have managed to stay in people's collective consciousness while remaining a mystery. This is the Cryptid and Mythological Creatures Iceberg. Fresno Nightcrawler The Fresno Nightcrawler, also called the Fresno Extraterrestrial, has been seen in Fresno, California as well as Yosemite National Park. It looks like an alien, a new species of some kind. Some people said it also looks like a mistaken deer is standing upright, trousers and a puppet on a wire, perhaps a bird walking like a crane, or a human wearing an enormous pair of pants and walking on stilts. A guy in Poland also saw the thing. People think Nightcrawler is unexplainable, it's a fun urban legend, and an endearing part of pop culture. Chupacabra The first Chupacabra encounter was in Puerto Rico in 1995. The Chupacabra can drain the blood, and sometimes the organs, of an animal through one or two triangle-shaped holes. It looks like an alien because it has spines running from its neck to its tail. It is between three and four feet tall and jumps like a kangaroo. People think it could be a stray dog. The Chupacabra has an obvious ridge on its back, eye sockets, fangs, and claws. People often say the Chupacabra is a monster that looks like a reptile. It has greenish-gray skin and sharp spines or quills all along its back. Mothman The Mothman is a humanoid monster that was allegedly observed in the Point Pleasant region between November 15, 1966 and just over a year later. It seems to be a giant gray monster with red eyes. It was described as a huge bird with crimson eyes by some. It was reported as a quote, huge flying guy with 10 foot wings by some. Some believe it is genuine, while others claim it is an owl with a frog in her jaws. Some people associate it with the Batman narrative and the imagination. Snow Wasset The Snow Wasset is a huge, fuzzy, mustelid like North American animal. It is a green furred quadruped in the summer, but it loses its limbs when winter approaches, and its fur turns as white as the snow in which it burrows. The Snow Wasset is a massive beast, four times the size of a wolverine, and 40 times more active. It hunts whatever it can capture, from bunnies to wolves and everything in between. Wyvern This is a mythical two-legged dragon. It is a well-known monster in European literature, mythology, and folklore. It is common in fantasy literature and video games these days. Unlike four-legged dragons, wyverns in heraldry and mythology are seldom fire-breathing. The Egyptian goddess Wajet, a fabled wyvern-like monster, is a famous example of winged snakes in other civilizations surrounding the Mediterranean. Champ Champ lives in the Lake of Champlain in New York. It is five feet long, the size of a human thigh, with a two and a half foot snout and vicious fangs. Its body resembles a pike, but its scales are so tough that a knife couldn't puncture them. Historians assume Champ is a garfish, which includes lake sturgeon. If Champ exists, he is honored today. Mermaid. This is a creature from folklore that lives in water and has the head and upper body of a lady and the tail of a fish. Mermaids are part of the myths and legends of many cultures worldwide, including those in Europe, Asia, and Africa. In Christian Europe and Middle Ages, mermaids were based on the ancient Greek mythical creature called a siren. Early Greeks believed sirens were human-headed birds. By the 3rd century BC, the Greeks occasionally portrayed the siren as half-fish, otherwise known as Argonautica. Its form is like that of other Crankiidae members, with the exception of hooks on its arms and tentacles. It inhabits the Antarctic Southern Ocean. 
bloop. The US Navy identified a low frequency, high amplitude sound underwater that is called bloop. According to NOAA, the sound increased in frequency over one minute and was loud enough to be heard over 3,000 miles away. By 2012, they described the sound as compatible with non tectonic cryoseisms resulting from glacial motions such as glacier calving or seafloor gouging by ice. The Kelpies are the world's biggest equestrian sculptures. These 30 meter high horse head sculptures were unveiled in April 2014 at Helix Park near the M9 motorway to honor Scotland's horse powered industrial legacy. The Kelpie looks like a tame pony beside a river. Once on its back, its adhesive magical hide won't let people off. Once caught, the Kelpie will pull and consume the rider. The narrative of Kelpie and the ten children are also present in history. Kelpies haunt rivers and streams as horse-like creatures. Water horses may seem human, they may even disguise themselves as a lovely young lady to lure guys in, or they may be a hairy person waiting by the river, ready to spring out and kill unwary travelers. Grassman this is a tall, bipedal hominid that stalks Ohio's woods. The grandkids and friends of Evelyn and Howe Clayton witnessed the Grassman in Minerva, Ohio in August of 1978. And in the late 1800s, a hairy Ohio River biped was sighted. People say that he kills only dogs, and some say it resembles a gorilla but stands up straighter. Others think it's more human. Some claim the beast was sleek, while others say it was shaggy except for its palms. Goatman The urban legend of Goatman describes a monster that resembles a goat-human hybrid and is said to find sanctuary in the forests of Prince George's County, Maryland in the United States. Goatman is commonly blamed for the death of dogs, and it is said that he seeks safety there. The legend of the Goatman began to circulate in the early 1970s because of the mysterious disappearances and or deaths of several canines, which were afterwards blamed on the monster. Hopkinsville Goblins The Kelly-Hopkinsville encounter is also called the Hopkinsville Goblins case. Three feet tall, this monster has pointed ears, narrow limbs, long arms, and clawed hands. Some families saw these creatures in their farmhouses. These creatures don't harm any human, but damage the farmhouses badly. The victim's family said it was metallic monsters that glistened. Their actions defied gravity. They hovered above the ground, looked up, and walked like wading through water. The entities never entered the house, but appeared at windows and doorways to terrify the youngsters. Loch Ness Monster Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, lives in Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. It features an extended neck and one or more outsized humps. Public interest in the species has varied since 1933. Several conflicting images and sonar measurements show its presence. The species resembles the long-necked aquatic reptile known as the plesiosaur, which went extinct during the Cretaceous extinction event. Melonheads. In Ohio, Michigan, and Connecticut legend, melonheads are little humanoids with bulbous heads who attack people. Variations of the folklore assign various origins to the beings. The melonheads of Michigan are claimed to live around Felt Mansion, although they have also been sighted in the southern wooded parts of Ottawa County. Ohio's melonhead legends are mostly linked with the Cleveland suburb of Kirtland, According to legend, the Melonheads were orphaned and raised by a mysterious entity named Dr. Crow. Seraph This is a celestial or heavenly figure that originated in Jewish mythology. According to tradition, Seraphim are at the greatest level in Christian angelology and the fifth order of ten in Jewish angelology. The term Seraph means fire in Hebrew and appears seven times as a noun in the Hebrew Bible, generally to imply serpent. P. 
people believe that a seraph is a strong angel. Varied religions have different beliefs around the seraph, but they all think that it is a mighty angel with tremendous wings. Lake Norman Monster This is a large monster that swimmers have observed. It is supposed to live in Lake Norman in North Carolina. The monster, nicknamed Normie, is often described as long and curved, with scaly fins or flippers. Several witnesses have observed the monster, including swimmers, fishermen, campers, water skiers, and scuba divers. People said this monster varies in size and color, but it seems like something enormous and terrible is being seen in the lake. Throne Angel In the Christian view of angels, angels with thrones are a type of angel. Peter said that Christ had gone to heaven and that angels, authorities, and powers were now under his control. Matthew Bunsen says in Judaism that the same group of angels is called the Abilim, Erelim, or Erelim. The role that Erelim is said to play in Isaiah 33.7 and Jewish folklore does not fit with the stories about the thrones. Flatwoods Monster The Flatwoods Monster frightened six kids, a mom, and a dog in 1952. It looks like a small man without feet flaying in the air with a burning head. It is said to have small hands with three fingers and claw-type nails. People now smile about it and collect souvenir money from Monster Visitors Weekly. The report of this incident scared many individuals in the town. La Larona This is also called the Weeping Woman or the Wailer. It is a furious Hispano-American ghost that haunts shoreline locations. La Larona is a lovely lady called Mara who marries a wealthy ranchero conquistador and bears him two children. Mara drowns her children in a river in a moment of wrath after seeing her husband with another woman. Mexico, Central America, and Northern South America tell this mythology. Werewolf People may transform into wolves on a full moon night, either on purpose or as a result of being cursed or otherwise negatively affected by their human nature, usually by a bite or a scratch of another werewolf. This ability is what gives werewolves their name. The notion of the werewolf is pervasive across European folklore. It has been told in many different ways, but they all have the same origin, a Christian interpretation of the European folklore that was already there during the Middle Ages. Dover Demon the Dover Demon was supposedly seen in Dover, Massachusetts in 1977. An enormous creature with burning eyes and tendril-like fingers was seen by a youngster. In 2009, Animal Planet's Lost Tapes presented the Dover Demon. An antagonist in the American comic book series Proof, the Dover Demon appears as a villain. In the comic, it is a future-seeing monster, and the Perhapnots also feature it. Jersey Devil Southern New Jersey and Philadelphia folklore are said to be haunted by the Jersey Devil, also known as the Leeds Devil. As a flying biped with hooves, the creature is described in several ways, with a horse or goat-like head, leathery bat-like wings, long, clawed hands, cloven feet, and a forked tail is the most common depiction of this bipedal monster. Rapid movement and a high-pitched, blood-curdling scream have also been described as its hallmarks. Mokele Membe Many scientists and historians are skeptical about the entity's existence due to the lack of tangible proof and contradicting testimony. This creature's name means one who hinders the flow of rivers in cryptozoology. It is a water-dwelling being said to live in the Congo River Basin. It is a huge herbivore with smooth skin, a long neck, and a single horn-like tooth. Cthulhu H.P. Lovecraft invented Cthulhu. In 1928, Weird Tales published his short fiction, The Call of Cthulhu. This monster appears in popular culture 
Lovecraft describes it as a cult-worshipped green octopus, dragon, and human caricature. Cthulhu Mythos, a Lovecraft-inspired world, is named after it. A person said it had an octopus-like head with feelers, a scaly, rubbery body, massive claws on its feet, and long, thin wings behind. Cthulhu is hundreds of meters tall with webbed, human-looking limbs and wings. Its mouth is tentacled like a huge octopus. The rake was visible during the summer of 2003 northeastern U.S. events. People reported that it is a weird, humanoid-like creature. Self-proclaimed witnesses have recounted their experiences with this monster of unknown origin, mostly in rural New York and once in Idaho. Mongolian Deathworm Gobi Desert is home to the Mongolian Deathworm. It is around two feet long, formed like a sausage, with no head or legs, and is so deadly that even touching it results in rapid death. It only lives in the desert's driest areas. Deathworm occurrences were likely due to misidentification or desert-induced hallucinations. Only local sightings and anecdotes supported this creature's existence. There were no photos or remnants. Lack of proof makes this deathworm a complete mythology. Spring-Heeled Jack This is a character in Victorian legend. In 1837, Spring-Heeled Jack made his debut. Several other sightings occurred in the Midlands and Scotland afterwards. Spring-Heeled Jack was terrible, with devilish physiognomy, clawed hands, and red balls of fire eyes. Some say he donned a helmet with white oil skin under the black robe. Others described him as tall, slim, and gentlemanly. Some say he could breathe blue and white flames and had keen metallic claws. Two individuals said he spoke understandable English. Giant Shrimp in the Laundry Room the Pacific Northwest was where people reported seeing this gigantic and deadly beast. The child who went by the name Staples described the creature she saw at the same height as her, five feet, brilliant orange in color, and having tiny, spidery, thin legs and antennae. She saw this creature in the laundry room, and she referred to it as a shrimp. Slenderman Eric Knudsen, also known as Victor Surge, a Something Awful forum member, invented the Slender Man as a creepypasta internet craze in 2009. People said it is a humanoid dressed in a black suit. It is thin and unnaturally tall. It has no distinguishing traits on his head or face. The Slender Man is often depicted as stalking, abducting, or harming others, usually children. The Slender Man has become a pop cultural phenomenon even though he is not featured in a single storyline but various internet stories. Mountain Creature Behind Google Car This image was taken from Google Earth on Duffy Lake Road in BC. This creature's facial features have been enhanced to accommodate more information. The second and third pictures are the enhanced and the original is the photo. It only showed itself once, just after the Google vehicle had gone by. Unfortunately, it seeks refuge in the woodland area, which has been clear-cut in recent years. Atmospheric Jellyfish There have been reports of flying jellyfish that have been seen adrift in the sky. These are known as atmospheric jellyfish. Hundreds of individuals worldwide, from China to Norway, including leading meteorological experts, military sites, and cities, have seen this inexplicable phenomenon. Hundreds of people in China have also spotted it. These sightings gave rise to rumors about the identities of animals that were seen. According to NASA, these mysterious beings could be the consequence of space junk bouncing off the northern lights. Hook Island Sea Monster This is commonly known as the tadpole creature. It is a 90-foot sea monster seen off the shore of Hook Island. It bears the appearance of a gigantic black sperm, a gaping mouth with short fangs, and eyes on the top of its head. Robert Le Serac and his family saw this monster in 1964. 
The evidence for it being false and genuine is equally balanced. Some claim it was photoshopped, although such technology did not exist then. Others claim it was a big, sand-filled sheet of plastic. It appeared genuine, and some close-up images revealed that the eyes were too intricate to be sculpted out of plastic. Fiji Mermaid The Fiji Mermaid was made of a monkey's body and head sewed to a fish's back. Sideshows often depicted it as a mummified body of a half-mammal, half-fish mermaid. They initially featured fish scales, animal hair, and pendulous breasts. The mouth was open and bared right hand on cheek, left beneath lower jaw. This mermaid was reportedly captured near the Fiji Islands. Several copies and modifications have been shown under similar names and pretexts. Pennsylvanian White Bigfoot Sasquatch has primarily been seen in North American woodlands. Sightings have been reported throughout the country, particularly in Pennsylvania, where a Bigfoot-like creature with white fur is often observed following UFO sightings. According to the individual who initially saw this monster, he stood between 6 and 7 feet tall, with a large chest, a lengthy neck, and a dirty white fur coat. Its eyes were black and far apart, its white hair hid the bottom of its face. Pinkish flesh was seen around the eyes and on the brow. It seemed like its hair was a bit longer on its head and hung over its brow like bangs. Most people believe it is a hoax, and there's no proof of its existence. Man-eating plant A carnivorous plant that is said to be big enough to kill and devour a human being or another large animal is known as a man-eating plant. There are many different myths and fictitious stories of this kind all across the globe. Chase Osborne, who had previously served as governor of Michigan, was responsible for increasing exposure for the film Madagascar, Land of the Man-Eating Tree. Phoenix The phoenix is an eternal Greek mythological bird that cyclically regenerates. The bird has a form and size comparable to that of an eagle. The color of this bird is primarily red and golden. Herodotus and 19th century historians assign the phoenix's origin to ancient Egypt, although some researchers believe Egyptian literature was inspired by classical tradition. Jormungandr This is a massive monster in Norse mythology. It is also called the Midgard Serpent or the World Serpent. It is a sea serpent, Lopi and the giantess Angerboa's middle child. The snake got so big that it could wrap around the earth and grab hold of its own tail. Thor, the god of thunder, is this creature's biggest enemy. It looks like an Ouroboros. Because it is wrapped around the earth, people called it the World Serpent. Ragnarok will start when it lets go of its tail. Siren Head Trevor Henderson created Siren Head, a famous online urban legend and aggressive monster. It features a siren for a head, as the name suggests. Siren Head is featured in numerous media owing to his fame. YouTube stars such as PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and many more helped to increase Trevor's and Siren Head's online popularity. Siren Head also appears in the 2020 game with the same name. This Siren Head is significantly more ethically conscious. Lake Harrington Monster the lake monster has a curly tail and skin tone that looks like freckled fish. The creature has a 12 to 15 foot long tail and is also faster than a boat. University of Kentucky professor Lawrence Thompson stated that it had been seen multiple times in the lake while swimming. Thunderbird This is a cryptozoological creature primarily found in northern Canada and Alaska it is said to be a vast bird. Some locals said that these birds were so large and energetic that thunder was produced when they flapped their wings. The folks use thunderbirds to clarify natural things such as storms and climate changes. Elf 
The word elf is used in all German languages, aside from human communities. The elves have influential, magical people who usually can't be seen. The elves are beautiful and have magical powers, but they aren't sure what to think of regular people. They look just like human beings. They have supernatural powers that allow them to change over time. Siren The siren is a legendary monster from Greek mythology who is described as half woman and half bird and is known for singing seductive songs that lure sailors to their deaths. One author believes that two sirens live on the island in the western sea around the cliffs of Scylla. In addition, they were sometimes referred to as Forsy's daughters. Lake Utopia Monster This creature is primarily found in New Brunswick, Canada. This is the lake monster, also known as Old Ned. The creature is considered to have a massive body, 20 plus feet in length. The monster has a large head, a reddish brown or a dark red. One reporter believed that the beast moved back and forth between Lake Utopia and the Atlantic Ocean for breeding every three to five years. Big Muddy Monster Giant Muddy Monster is one of the most famous traditional stories of Southern Illinois, and it was formed in Murfreesboro. People can tell the details of the events surrounding the discoveries and inquiry of the Big Muddy Monster, as issued by the Southern Illinoisian in October of 2005. White River Monster One of Arkansas's finest mysteries is the White River Monster. In 1915, the White River was discovered near Newport, and the monster appeared many times, becoming a local legend. The reporter saw him as he was looking for a plantation along the river. The reporter said it was a gray creature with a horn stuck to its forehead and a spiny back 20 feet long. He said it looked giant at a three-car length. Arizona Bigfoot in 1903, an article was published on this creature named Arizona Bigfoot. When the creature was found near the Mogollon Rim, this cryptid rapidly became a Mogollon legend. Leprechaun This creature is similar to the Brownie, Clericon, and Elf. He looks like an older man with a red or white beard. It is the type of small humanoid creature that exists in Ireland. According to McNally's interpretation, the leprechaun is the offspring of a wicked soul, and despite its name, it's neither wholly excellent nor awful. The leprechaun can apprehend his captors, and will offer three wishes in return for its freedom. Minotaur The term Minotaur comes from Greek. He was a massive Greek island creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull. It was the progeny of Pasiphae, Minos' wife, and a snow-white bull delivered to Minos for sacrifice by the god Poseidon. Instead of relinquishing it, Minos kept it alive. As a punishment, Poseidon caused Pasiphae to fall in love with it. Her child with the bull was imprisoned in Daedalus' labyrinth, which he built for Minos. Squonk the Squonk is a folkloric creature living in the Hemlock Forest of northern Pennsylvania. Physically, it looks like a pig and has cauliflower ears covered in wax and hair. In 1910, the Squonk appeared as a fearsome critter. His body is covered in warts. It is said that the creature has four legs. Imp an imp is in European mythology that seems to be a fairy or demon, which certain superstitious people describe. These creatures were fond of tricks and misleading people. Imps were presented as small creatures that are not very attractive in search of human courtesy, using jokes and pranks to fascinate human friendship. Abau Aku This is primarily found in Kitor, India, this Malay mythology creature haunts a person. During its haunting, it's remained silent and hid or pretended that it was sleeping. 
and it awakens when someone walks across it. It gives a small cry sounding like a rusting of silk while eating their prey. Its skin looks like the fuzz of a peach. Living Terror Bird Terror birds emerged in South America and moved into North America around 5 million years ago across the Panamanian land bridge. The terror birds were built in the form of robust ostriches with massive hatchet-shaped heads. The terror bird stands taller than a man at 9 feet tall and is a highly aggressive carnivore. It is said to be a tremendous sprinter. North American Indian folklore is rather expressive of the terror bird, even getting the details right such as clawed arms instead of wings. It has been said that this creature has not actually gone extinct and still lives today. Khan Rit This is the type of cryptid that lives in Vietnam. It is a vast oceanic centipede which lives in the Southeast Vietnam Sea. Its body is made of portions of thin plates and it employs fish-like fins to swim. A researcher claimed that the creature was 60 feet long and 3 feet wide. When the sailors see them, they call them sea monsters, which possess a massive number of fins. Oni Oni is mainly known for being violent and evil, as shown by their tendency to kill and eat each other. Despite their reputation for being wrong, Oni have interestingly complex traits that just can't be written off as evil. This creature has two or more horns on its head. It is thought to be red, blue, or black, and wears tiger skin loincloths. Doppelganger This is a German word that means double walker. In traditional stories, a doppelganger is an evil twin. It looks like a double as a living person. The word doppelganger is also described as a person physically looking at another person. In Egyptian mythology, the spirit double has the exact recall and feelings of the person to whom the matching part belongs. Chupaku This is shown as a gray alien type with an extended head and large eyes and is pink in color. Chupaku can go all over the place and cause disturbing noise. They haunt people by attacking their private parts. It has been said that they stalk people and suck out their innards upon attacking them. Kraken The Kraken is a fabled sea creature claimed to emerge off the coast of Norway. It is reported to be quite large. There is a possibility that sightings of enormous squid which may reach lengths of up to 40 to 50 feet, inspired the mythology of the Kraken. At the start of the 18th century, a travelogue written by Francesco Negre in 1700 provided the earliest description of the Kraken in contemporary times. The Kraken was the topic of the myths and mythos of mariners. Sprite European mythology has sprites, they're generally portrayed as ethereal or fairy-like. Sprite comes from Latin spritus. In European mythology, the phrase is used for elves or fairies. People believe in small entities like sprites, elves, fairies, etc., which is popular in many regions of the globe and may still be found in Neo-Druidism and Seder. Loveland Frog Loveland frogs are also known as Loveland frogmen and Loveland lizards. It is a fabled humanoid frog around four feet and purportedly observed near Loveland, Ohio. The Loveland frog tale resurfaced in 1972 when a Loveland police officer claimed to a colleague that he had seen an animal matching the description of the frogman. Following a reported sighting in 2016, the second officer contacted the news station to say that he had shot and killed the same creature, identifying it as a vast iguana without its tail some weeks after the 1972 event. El Cuero This is a dangerous lake monster in South America. Its head and spine are hairless, 
and its body looks like a cowhide spread out to dry. The width of El Cuero is 2.5 feet, and it weighs about 65 pounds. It seems to hunt in Glacial Lake Lacar in Chile, which is in the Andes Mountains. Ninjen During the mid-2000s, this creature has been mentioned in contemporary Japanese mythology as an aquatic humanoid, whale-like monster that lives in the sub-Antarctic waters. Japanese internet users created it. The mythology of this creature originated in 2002 with a forum post on the Japanese internet forum 2Channel claiming that members of a whale research ship saw the monster when it appeared near the boat off the Antarctic coast. The crew took a closer look, assuming it was a submarine, but it immediately disappeared under the seas. Ghoul A ghoul is a grotesque, humanoid, or demon-like entity. The notion is related to graveyards and the devouring of human flesh in pre-Islamic Arabian religion. The phrase is often used in modern literature and media to describe a certain kind of undead creature. In Arabic, the phrase may also refer to someone greedy or gluttonous. The ghoul is reported to live in graves and other abandoned locations in Arabic mythology. The male ghoul is known as Gull, while the female is known as Gola. Jackalope A jackalope is a legendary animal from North American mythology characterized as a jackrabbit with antelope horns. Folklorists consider the jackalope one of the group of scary monsters that have been prevalent in North American culture since the start of the 20th century. These fantastic monsters occur in stories with hodags, enormous snakes, fur-bearing fish, and other creatures. Adults may reach heights of 3 feet and weigh up to 150 pounds, and run at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. Pegasus In Greek mythology, Pegasus was a winged horse that sprung from the blood of the Gorgon Medusa when she was decapitated by the hero Perseus. With the assistance of Athena, or Poseidon, another Greek hero, Bellerophon, kidnapped Pegasus and rode him in his struggle with the Chimera, and subsequently in his revenge on Anthea. Following that, Bellerophon sought to soar to heaven on Pegasus, but was unseated and murdered, the winged horse became a constellation and Zeus's servant. Devil Whale This is a mythological sea creature that resembles a demonic whale or a sea turtle in some legends. According to legend, this whale is gigantic and can devour whole ships. When it's asleep, it resembles an island and unwary sailors land on its back. When the men set fire to the ship, the devil whale awakens and attacks, dragging it to the bottom of the sea. As a result, Christianity came to associate the whale with the devil. This is the tale from Sinbad the Sailor. The Terrible Dogfish In the book The Adventures of Pinocchio, the terrible dogfish is a sea creature that looks like a dog and a fish. It is a kilometer long, not including its tail, and has three rows of teeth that can fit a train. In chapter 36, the dogfish is called the Attila of fish and fishermen. Since no one has ever seen a dogfish, no one believes what it says. Po orangutan. This creature resembles a regular orangutan in appearance, with the distinction that it walks on two feet more often. It has orange-colored fur and an ape-like face, similar to the orangutan. The abrupt apparition of the orangutan Po, or Po orangutan, who attacked the calves in their stalls and devastated the flora on the banks of Oglio, witnesses at the event described him as looking like a giant, terrifying ape. U-28 Creature This is not the name of a specific monster, Instead, the term is given to a single sighting of an unknown beast. On July 30th, 1915, 
The U-28 sank the British steamship Iberian, transporting valuable cargo across the North Atlantic for the first time. Their spines were very flexible, and their height was around 80 feet. However, it is not observed by another individual from the shipment, therefore it cannot be determined if it is present or extinct. Black Shuck Also known as Old Shuck, Old Shock, or simply Shuck, is the name given in English mythology to a ghostly black dog thought to haunt the shoreline and farmland of East Anglia, one of several such black dogs documented in tradition throughout the British Isles. People describe it as a hairy black hound with blazing eyes and enormous stature who visits churchyards at midnight. Some have compared his blazing eye in the center of his skull to the Cyclops. Some people believed it, but only a handful have observed it. Rougarou. In French folklore, this is a mythological beast closely associated with conventional werewolf ideas. A monster with the body of a human and the head of a wolf or dog. Rougarou is comparable to the mythology of the werewolf in that it is most typically described as having such combination. One school of thought holds that a Rougarou is a man that can shift into an animal. Leviathan The Leviathan is a legendary sea monster in both Christian theology and Greek mythology. The Leviathan is often seen as the personification of chaos and is shown as a creature that threatens to consume the condemned after they have lived their existence. The Leviathan is often seen as the personification of chaos. There are a variety of interpretations of this being among many religious traditions. Naiad The Naiads are a type of nymph in Greek mythology. They are in charge of fountains, wells, springs, streams, brooks, and other freshwater bodies. They are not the same as river gods, who were the rivers themselves, or the ancient spirits who lived in the still waters of marshes, ponds, and lagoon lakes. People also knew that naiads could be jealous. Large Antarctic Sea Mammal this cryptid was reportedly seen in Antarctica in 1958 by a Japanese research ship. Because of the striking similarities between it and Godzilla, the captain of the Soya gave this beast the moniker Antarctic Godzilla due to its look. Green Clawed Beast This is a mysterious creature that watches over the Ohio River in the city of Evansville, Indiana. A young woman saw this monstrosity and was harmed by its claws. On August 21st, 1955, she had an encounter with this monster. She said that it had a hairy and claw-like appearance. She could see this monster submerged 15 feet below the water's surface. The animal gave her a nasty cut on her leg with its claws. Kilin In Chinese mythology, this is a hooved chimerical creature that appears before the arrival or departure of a wise or great ruler. It is a kind of one-horned lin. It's associated with Ming-era giraffes. Appearances include antlers, thick eyelashes, flowing manes, and beards. The scaled body resembles an ox or deer. Their hooves are cloven. While dragons in China are generally golden, these creatures may be any color and be jeweled or have a jewel-like shine. Gray Alien Grays are characterized as having little bodies with smooth gray skin, enormous, hairless heads, and huge black eyes. The 1961 abduction of Barney and Betty Hill popularized the gray aliens. Similar descriptions surfaced in the 1948 Aztec UFO hoax and the 1947 Roswell UFO encounter. The gray alien may have late 19th century roots. The Turner Beast 
This is a husky wolf with broad shoulders, large eyes, a flat nose, short deformed ears, and a bushy tail. Some experts speculated that it might be a dire wolf before it was revealed to be a hybrid. It was discovered near Turner, Maine and weighed 120 pounds. It has been reported to kill pets and livestock, primarily dogs, for territorial reasons. Later, DNA testing confirmed that the animal in the photos was a wolf-dog mix. Golem In Jewish mythology, a golem is an animated, humanoid figure made entirely of inanimate matter, usually clay or mud. The term golem was employed in the Psalms and medieval works to describe an amorphous, unformed substance. Many stories disagree on how the golem was created and managed. Quote, the golem is a highly adaptable metaphor with almost unlimited implications, says Moment magazine. It might be a victim or a criminal, a Jew or a non-Jew, a man or a woman, or both. It has been used throughout history to represent conflict, community, solitude, hope, and sadness. Black Stick Men These are relatively new. They serve as two-dimensional black entities reported everywhere. They seem two-dimensional from any perspective, however. These are neither shadow people nor ghosts. Their height vary from average to extraordinary. They create no sound or shadow. Witnesses say these shadows are typically charged with static electricity. Some witnesses report feeling agitated or aggressive after meeting these figures. They do seem to be harmful in nature. Mark Wolfgang Miller embarked on an expedition to find the Black Stickmen in Buford, Wyoming. Flannel Shirt Sasquatch this term refers to a rare subcategory of North American hominid sightings in which the mystery creature was dressed in human clothing, most often a torn flannel shirt or otherwise animal skins. In the 1960s and 70s, stories from the American West periodically surfaced of hairy bipedal Bigfoots wearing faded plaid shirts and frayed shorts. People said it is an unknown creature, or a cryptid, dressed in self-made or appropriated human clothing. It was spotted in California in 1950 as a shared hallucination or ghost comparable to the globally checkered shirt figures. Bat Squatch Bat Squatch was reportedly seen at Mount St. Helens in the 1980s, it resembles the Ahul and Orang Bati of Southeast Asia, and its name is a combination of bat and sasquatch. The monster is said to have yellow eyes, a dog-like nose, blue fur, sharp fangs, bird-like feet, and 50-foot bat-like wings. Bat Squatch is 9 feet tall and may influence automobile motors. In 1994, Brian Canfield's vehicle died in Pierce County, Washington. Canfield reported seeing this giant beast. He stated it was around 9 feet tall with bat-like wings and dark blue fur. It hasn't been seen since, and doubters call it a fraud. Cerberus, otherwise known as Dog of Hades, defended the underworld gates ensuring the dead never left. Heracles, Orpheus, and Sibyl of Cumae tricked Cerberus with strength, song, and honey cake. Not deer. Unlike most cryptids, the not deer is described in contrast to a recognized animal, a deer. The not deer look like deer but have something, quote, wrong with them, such as predatory eyes, a long neck, a malformed head, or short, unnaturally jointed legs. Some sightings of not deer have been recorded in Texas and Norway. Tumblr user Will of the Witch describes this cryptid as, quote, 
something with pointed ears and an extended nose. Some confuse not deer with Native American species. Succubus In legend, a succubus is a female demon or supernatural being that appears in dreams to entice men, generally via sexual activities. According to religious traditions, repeated sexual interaction with the succubus may lead to poor physical or mental health and sometimes even death. A succubus is typically shown as a lovely seductress or enchantress in contemporary depictions rather than as demonic or dangerous. The incubus is the male counterpart to the succubus. The term succubus first appeared in English in the late 14th century. The earth wander, also known as the succubus, hunts her victims by disguising herself as an attractive young lady and seducing men. Vampire Folklore vampires feed on the vital essence, blood, of the living. In European legend, vampires frequently visited loved ones and caused mischief or deaths while living. Unlike today's gaunt, pale vampires, they wore shrouds with bloated, reddish, or black faces. Montauk Monster Near July 2008, a dead animal known as the Montauk Monster was discovered in Montauk, New York. Speculation abounds as to the creature's true identity and the veracity of its legends. Some assumed it was a raccoon with its long legs, some compare it to a furless sea turtle. Some people related it to rodents with two big incisor teeth, and some said they are dogs or coyotes. However, despite the sheep's ovine appearance, they do not have sharp teeth. Akaname The Akaname is a Japanese yokai that was first described in the 1776 novel Gazu Hyaki Yegi. Children with clawed feet and chopped heads are shown in traditional yokai paintings by the bath place, thrusting out a long tongue. They are said to lick the dirt that accumulates in baths and bathrooms. Its face is believed to be a dark crimson and has a long tongue with which it licks unclean bathtubs. Mamlambo This creature is found in a South African river. The citizens have called it a brain sucker because it was infamous for dragging its prey into dark depths to eat their brains and demolish their faces. The creature is six to seven feet long and has a long tail and a horse-like head. Witnesses claimed that the beast has two shiny green eyes that shine at night with green light. Amiri This is a snake or a lobster similar to a crab, a shrimp-like creature. This creature has claws that are used to cut the nets by fishermen. This creature has claws that are used to cut the nets of fishermen. A nasty habit of Amiri is cutting anything that they want. Amphitere. This is a type of winged snake that is primarily found in Europe. Its feathers have light coloring like sunrise and they have a long tail. They are rarely used as heraldic devices and they are also present in the arms of the House of Podier, a noble house in France. Boggart, also known as a bugbear, it is a household spirit creature in English folklore. The animal is similar to the goblin, hobgoblin, sake, and other creatures. Boggarts steal things like milk, and they also hate dogs. When the hobgoblin is tortured or misused a lot by someone, they become a boggart who plays tricks and cause trouble for people. In certain aspects, it can be similar to a vampire. Domovoy Domovoy represents the supreme god or god of the top family miniature of a relationship. It is the household spirit in given relations. It expresses itself as several multiple spirits for different purposes. Monster of Lake Tota the monster of Lake Tota is a mythological aquatic animal, also known as the Devil Whale. It originated from Lake Tota in Colombia. A reporter described the monster as, quote, a fish with a black head, 
like an ox and more extensive than a whale. Zing Zing. This is an unfamiliar monkey in the Himalayan highlands. It has black fur with grayish and yellow eyes. Its height is around about 10 feet. It has a high flexibility to help move the stony landscape. Zing Zing is most probably seen in the lower parts of the mountains, but it is distant away from civilization. Water Elephant Water elephants are found in the Democratic Republic of Cargo, a semi-aquatic comparison of the African elephant. It is a mammal or aquatic-based cryptid of unusually shaped elephants and mostly live in deep, murky water. Its height is about 2 to 2.5 meters tall, and all these rare creatures spend most of their time in the water. Gruagach this creature is mainly found in Ireland and lives in small, thick forests. It is a hairy humanoid with big footprints and man-like beasts. It gets very little kindness in Ireland as it is a small home, even though the majority is countryside. The last sighting was in 2018. Sea Monk Fishermen found a new species of fish off the coast of Zeeland, Denmark. In 1546, a sea monk, otherwise known as a monk fish. In appearance, it was described as a fish that looked like a monk in his habit. The supposed sea monk was kidnapped at sea in the Strait of Orosund, between Denmark, Zealand, and Sweden, most likely around 1546. One Danish biologist proposed that the sea monk was a colossal squid in the 1850s. Hualapen these creatures were reported to haunt Chilean lakes and rivers. Hualapen is a hybrid of a sheep and a calf. They have bent feet and back legs that look like seals. It gives birth in muzzles and herding pools. Eyewitness accounts of these animals resemble British water horses and the Australian burnyip, suggesting they may be water-dwelling mammals or a rogue and dangerous pinniped. Like its European siblings, this modest, peaceful species is aggressive in water. It may hybridize with sheep or cattle. Some people believe these creatures come in the dreams of pregnant women and are responsible for the cause of abnormal births. King Zion Flying Jellyfish This is an atmospheric jellyfish, a form of UFO, seen by a Chinese Air Force pilot and 140 authorities at Qingjing, China, on Monday, October 19th, 1998. The incident sparked discussion about what the creature was. Like we've discussed earlier, flying jellyfish are a phenomenon seen flying in the atmosphere. It is most well known for its appearance in The Secret Saturdays. Four Chinese military radar stations reported an inexplicable blip above Changzhou on October 19th, 1998. Barmouth Monster the Menai Strait, a narrow swath of water separating mainland Wales from the Isle of Angsley, is home of the fabled Barmouth creature, a serpentine sea monster often seen off the coast of Wales. As far back as the 1800s, sightings of this monster at sea have been reported. The creature has been described in many ways. One report suggests it as a serpentine while another claims it to be comparable to that of a crocodile with footprints as enormous as an elephant. It's reported to be 10 feet long with skin that looks like it came straight off a prehistoric animal. Kappa Folklore A kappa is an amphibious yokai in Japanese mythology. They are human-like and have a green color with webbed hands and feet and a turtle-like shell on their backs, which are the most common depictions. Cucumbers and sumo wrestling are two of the kappa's favorite pastimes. A special organ in the body is said to have been taken from their victims when they attack people in water. Humanoid in form and around the size of a child, kappa lives in Japan's ponds and rivers and is considered a species of amphibian. Lernaean Hydra In Greek and Roman mythology, a hydra is a serpentine sea monster its lair was Lake Lerna in Argolid, which was the setting for the Danaid story. Lerna is older than the Mycenaean Argos and was regarded as an underwater gateway. 
As one of the twelve labors, Heracles killed the Hydra. It possessed terrible breath, blood, and even a nasty fragrance. The number of Hydra's head varies per source. Later versions of the Hydra narrative include regeneration. For every head sliced off, it regrows two. Heracles needed help to chop off the monster's head and to burn its throat in the process. Skvader. This is a mythological Swedish creature invented in 1918 by taxidermist Rudolf Granberg. This creature is based on a hunting tall tale told by Khan Dalmark in Sundsvall circa 1900. It has a female wood grouse's back, wings, and tail, and a hare's headquarters and hind legs. Sheep Squatch This is a woolly haired cryptid reported in southeastern West Virginia. Boone, Kanawha, Putnam, and Mason had the most recent sightings, especially in the mid-1990s. People said that it is a bear-sized quadruped with wool-like white fur. It possesses saber-like teeth and a single set of horns resembling a young goat. Its forelimbs end in raccoon-like paws, and its tail is long and hairless. It is believed to smell like sulfur, which folklore links to its birth in Mason County's TNT area, like one of the Mothman explanations, although this is not realistic and may be a musk scent gland similar to those found in weasels and skunks. Aramaspi. These creatures were a mythical tribe of one-eyed people from the northern Scythia who lived in mountains, which is also called the Ural Mountains or the Carpathians. It looks like a horse and has only one eye. People are scared of them because of their terrifying appearance, but some of them simply cannot believe in their existence. Megatherium. This creature lived in South America for around 5.3 million years before becoming extinct. Although some modern jungle residents claim to have seen a similar species creeping among the trees. Megatherium, a ground sloth the size of an elephant, was one of the world's most giant terrestrial animals. The Megatherium controlled the continent's southern grassland and sparsely wooded regions for thousands of years until a catastrophic extinction wiped it off the world. Hodag In American folklore, the Hodag is a fearsome beast resembling a bull-horned carnivore with a row of powerful, coiled spines down its back. It was believed that the creature was created from the ashes of burnt oxen as a symbol of the animal's brutality at the hands of their owners. The history of the creature is intrinsically related to the city of Rhinelander, where it was allegedly discovered. The Hodeg often occurs in early Paul Bunyan stories. Owlman In Cornish tradition, an owl-like creature called the Owlman was observed near 1976 in Manwen, Cornwall, UK. The mythology of the Owlman has been likened to that of the Mothman, nevertheless, the Eurasian Eagle Owl is most likely where the narrative originated. An enormous owl with pointed ears as large as a man, with luminous eyes and black claws that resemble pincers. Airborne Frogman In 1880, numerous New Yorkers reported seeing the Airborne Frogman. It had a man's body, bat wings, and frog legs. The creature had a cruel visage despite flying 1,000 feet. The creature's identity is unclear, it may be a paranormal creature or hoax theories. This type of biological ridiculousness is prevalent in claims of a winged man, even aside from the realities that a humanoid form doesn't match with the aerodynamics and anything near an adult human's weight should have trouble taking off. Chimera. In Greek mythology, the Chimera was a monster with the mix of a Typhoeus and Echidna. Cerberus and the Lernaean Hydra were also related to the Chimera. It had the head and body of a lion, a goat's head on its back, and a snake's head on the end of its tail. It lived in Lycia, a part of Asia Minor, and used its fire breath to destroy the world. Orobon. This creature, also called the Orobu, 
was a strange that lived in the waters of Mount Marzuan, which was once called Mount Oribu. In his cosmographies, a French priest, explorer, cosmographer, and author, André Thivet, wrote about the Oroban. The Oroban is a giant reptile that often looks like a cat with a hunched back. People said it sounded like a cat, and was almost three meters long. It had scales like a sturgeon, and its feet were like webs. Tanihua Large supernatural creatures known as Tanihua inhabit deep pools in rivers and caverns, as well as the sea, particularly in areas with strong currents or misleading breaks, according to Mori legend. Some cultures see them as revered guardians who safeguard people and places. In contrast, others see them as deadly predators who, among other things, abduct women to have them as brides. Saltwater crocodiles, which seldom make it across the strait from Australia, may be the source of the Tiny Hua tale. North Carolina Pterosaur Sightings Pterosaurs are extinct flying reptiles. They live from the Triassic to the Late Cretaceous period, and they're the first flying vertebrates. No pterosaurs survived the Cretaceous according to Fossil, as a self-described contemporary pterosaur specialist a Utah-based author circulates news and runs websites about the extinct flying reptiles. Pascagoula Elephant Man Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker said they were kidnapped by aliens while fishing in Mississippi in 1973. The aliens were characterized as humanoid and 5 feet tall. The animals had pale, wrinkled skin like an elephant, no eyes and slits for mouths. Their heads were attached to their shoulders with no neck. Instead of nose and ears, there were three carrot-like growths. The entity's arms featured lobster-like claws, and they looked to have just one leg terminating in an elephant-like feet. It is reported that they appeared to move robotically. Requelm's Alien Skeleton The extraterrestrial skeleton is one of the two claimed skeletons found in Peru, by Renato Requelm in 2011. The unnamed monster possessed a 50-inch tall, triangle-shaped cranium. Three anthropologists told the Daily Mail it is not human. The first skeleton features an infant-like soft area and two big molars. It is said that they have huge eye cavities. At one point, a mummified skeleton of this kind was unearthed. Old Spider Legs this fearsome creature was sighted in America during the 19th century by a common lumberjack. It was said to be traveling through the forest after hearing a loud and quick galloping sound. When the creature was finally seen, it was revealed to have eight legs positioned like a spider's legs, and on top of the body was the head of a horse. The lumberjack stated he tried to chase the creature on his own horse, but was quickly outrun. Solar Plexus Clown Glider this horrifying paranormal phenomena was the name given to a corrupted entity that is said to infect weak and vulnerable people through the solar plexus chakra. This was mostly linked to horror-themed email forwards in the late 90s, which claimed even hearing the words solar plexus clown glider made one susceptible to the infection. It's been said that even viewing this image was enough to infect people. Upon infection, the cryptid would bombard its host with horrifying and realistic hallucinations, causing them to question their own sanity and further weaken them. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this, and let us know what topics we should cover next. And last but not least, a huge shout out and thank you to the channel members that help make this channel possible. Maker, out.